forecast or your Christmas week forecast, uh, depending on if you're working. Uh, obviously, the kids are home from school. If you've got kiddos, uh, a lot of you are here um, uh, who are here for um, uh, visiting for the week, are enjoying um, outdoor activities hopefully this week. It is a pretty good week for that as we head through uh, this Christmas week forecast. Um, and particularly the first three days here are going to be nice uh, temperature wise, pretty seasonable. We're going to warm up towards the end of the week. Um, heading forward after that, the forecast does not look as good for outdoor activities. Looks like rain this weekend. Next weekend is definitely a possibility. And the forecast after that does not look great in terms of uh, wintry weather um, for us here across southern Vermont. So uh, try to get it in this week. Uh, uh, the snow is a little crusty, obviously, after all the rain we had uh, the day before, uh, last Friday. But um, uh, it's not too bad up there. There's still uh, plenty of snow to get out there and enjoy those outdoor activities. So um, I would suggest that you do that um, if you're uh, able to this week. Uh, let's see what's going on across the country. First of all, um, we have uh, a storm that's basically starved of energy across the central part of the country. It's also sinking to the southeast. This will sink mostly south of us. Won't really impact our weather much. We do have a couple of um, very weak systems pinwheeling uh, kind of across central Canada now. Uh, one of them will spread a front in our direction our general direction on Wednesday will give us a few flurries. That's really our only precipitation for the week. It will not amount to anything sizable. I don't even think it will cause the roads to get greasy uh, at the highest of elevation. So um, northern Vermont might get a little bit more snow out of that, like a, a, a coating to an inch in a couple of spots. But um, here, I think we don't even really see a dust and just some snow in the air. Um, the other big weather story that's kind of approaching is the crashing uh, onto the west coast of a lot of Pacific moisture, energy, and temperatures. Um, and so this is going to kind of reset our pattern and uh, move it towards what we're looking for headed going forward in the forecast. But this doesn't, uh, this kind of weather doesn't really start to affect us. Uh, it starts to sort of affect us th Friday really. Um, and then this weekend as uh, we head towards actually getting a storm that kind of redevelops out of what's happening out to our west that will uh, eventually cut to our west and become a rainmaker. But again, that's uh, not something to worry about in the immediate future. Uh, what's going on in terms of here at your upper levels? We're underneath this big trough. That's why we've been cold, although the trough is lifting and weakening some, which is why while it's still chilly this morning, it's seasonably chilly. You're in the teens for most areas of this morning after being uh, kind of stuck in the single numbers uh, all day on Saturday and yesterday. Uh, only getting up into the teens after starting off with single numbers. We're going to be pretty seasonable for the next three days. Temperatures, low temperatures in the low teens, um, which is about average for this time of year. High temperatures in the upper 20s, which is also about average. Mid to upper 20s, about average for this time of year. Um, but what you can see is we've got a lot of moist, a lot of uh, energy and a lot, uh, big trough across the Pacific. Also a huge uh, jet stream uh, uh, section here that is all crashing into the West Coast. And it is pushing... Uh, because of all that, it's pushing a lot of uh, Pacific uh, air in across the country. And what will, that will do eventually is kind of, uh, eat, first of all, eat away at this trough, and then it will allow a ridge to build back, especially over the southeast, um, which will allow us to tap some of that warmer air and uh, allow storms to go well to our west again. We'll kind of be in a pattern that's more, more similar to early December, um, where we were looking at uh, basically any precipitation that fell it was falling as rain and relatively uh, mild temperatures and sometimes well above uh, normal temperatures. That looks like the next pattern setup, which I know is not what all of you want to hear, but um, maybe that will change if we're not locked in entirely on that, but it doesn't look, that's sort of what it looks like. Temperatures across the country here, you can see we're in the teens uh, and chilly across the east, particularly the southeast, that's still quite cold across the southeast for them for average this time of year, but they're starting to warm back up to normal. Um, this, uh, we do have a kind of a reinforcing shot of cooler air across the upper Midwest. A little bit of that will swing through to kind of keep our temperatures uh, about where they are now for the next couple of days before some of this, like I said, Pacific mild weather first starts to build into the southeast and then starts to build in to the northeast as well. So what does that look like on your forecast for the week um, today? We're in the mid-20s, um, mostly in and out of the clouds today. Tomorrow looks quite sunny. Tomorrow's a really nice day to get outside. Temperatures in the upper 20s, not much breeze uh, after starting off in the teens. So um, in terms of skiing, really all week is pretty good, uh, particularly Monday through Wednesday into Thursday are nice. Wednesday, that's the day we could see a couple of flurries, a little bit warmer on Wednesday in the low 30s. Again, pretty seasonable temperatures wise. Again, these flurries won't really amount to anything, but you could see a few of them. They might make it look pretty out there, especially at the higher elevations. Thursday, we do start what will be a pretty consistent warm up for us with temperatures in the low 40s after starting off in the upper 20s. 
Um, and uh, a bit of a breeze on Friday as we kind of get a southwest flow. I think it will be cl cloudy most of Friday. I think any precipitation holds off until uh, probably well after midnight, probably more into Saturday for any of the rain that's going to come. So if you want to get out there, it's going to be a nice, comfortable day to ski in the mid-40s, be uh, um, a little bit softer on the snow um, as well. Uh, so, again, really overall a very nice week to get out there and enjoy some outdoor weather activities, uh, a week you're going to want to try to get take advantage of before – um, we kind of get into some unseasonably warm and wet weather heading forward after this, it looks like. Um, so if you want to enjoy what the snow the snow that we've got out there, there's still plenty of snowpack out there from the storm a couple of weeks ago. Like I said, it's a bit crusty, but it's definitely able to get out there and enjoy it. So try to do that this week. Um, and then if we take a look at – whoops, sorry. Let me just want to pull the highlights for you here real quick. Um, quiet weather week uh, – weather-wise this week, seasonable temperatures to start the week. Warming trend Thursday and Friday. The next chance at precipitation – Looks to be rain coming next weekend. The snow is crusty, but it should be a good week for winter outdoor activities, so try to take advantage of that. All right, thanks for joining me. I will be back on fr uh, Friday. We'll look at your weekend forecast with a quieter weather week. We're down or back down to just our two normal forecasts this week. So uh, join me for that. If you haven't subscribed to my YouTube channel before, I would encourage you to do so. I want to give a quick shout-out to my patrons who help support what I do here. Really thankful for their support. And if you're interested in what it means to become a patron, I will leave a link in the description below that talks about uh, what it means to do that. Um, you can visit, visit my Patreon page, um, and it talks about that there too. All right. I will be back on Friday with a look at your work weekend forecast.